hey, this is Kyle. And I felt like sharing a revelation across the board that's happened. I've noticed um, it came from questions that many, many clients have had. I've noticed that there are a lot of people, and I used to do this a lot too, that make a decision from regret. Okay, let me give you an example. You don't get sleep, so you wake up in the morning and you go, Ugh, okay, tonight I'm going to bed early. And you make a decision from the feeling of resentment, right? So you could eat badly and then go, okay, today I'm not going to eat anything or I'm going to start a diet today. And these things aren't bad. It's not bad to get more sleep or to fast or to, to go on a diet or whatever. But if you do it from buried resentment, it's never sustainable. It doesn't work. You cannot do it from a place of fixing from the negative. So when you feel resentment, let's say, for instance, you didn't get something done you wanted to, don't make a quick decision. You're feeling resentment. Instead, get present for the resentment. Allow it to be there because the overall goal is forgiveness for the situation. Like imagine if a person who wakes up in the morning and goes, I didn't get enough sleep, so tonight I'm going to. Instead, just be is, is present and loving to the energy that didn't get enough sleep. You don't make any decision from here. You don't do any fix. I know this because I used to do this. I used to fast from a oh, I hate that I ate that. And it never worked. Every time I declared a fasting from a place of I'm mad that I ate a burrito, I never could sustain it. And a lot of times we're, we're trying to create careers like this. Or we'll look at our bank account. Okay, I need to start a job right now. But before you make any decision, could you become present for the you that's feeling broke? Could you find a level of forgiveness? Could you say it's okay that you feel broke? Because really what's going on is there's an energy inside your body that's feeling completely shamed and and its shame is and, and its resistance to the shame is what's making the decision. But if instead it could learn that it's love no matter what your situation is, that it could be like, I love you even if you're broke. I love you even if you're on insulin. I love you even if you ate badly that day. I love you even if that person um, judged you. I love you even like a lot of times we're making so many decisions, fixing things with people out of uh, not feeling something. I don't want that person to be mad at me more. I'm scared that they'll, you don't want to make decisions from this frequency. The reason is because when you start to move into a full place of forgiveness and atonement, you start to get here and you notice that there's a frequency of higher choices that show up. See, a lot of people are making decisions out of rules. I better not eat this. I better not do this. I better not just slack off. I better not go online. I better not Netflix all day. You don't want to make a decision from rules. You want to make a decision from higher choices. I had a client once who was resenting that in the past that they were bulimic. And so I said to them, to say, now, of course, we're not aiming for this energy, but if you say to the 20-year-old you that was bulimic, I love you even if you were bulimic, I noticed that she did, and then she started releasing, she started crying. See, if you're saying, I cannot be this way, you're unconsciously aiming for it. That's a world of rules. But if you say, I'm allowed to be this way, if you can continually bring love and say, you're allowed to eat any way you want, eventually you start to have a world of choices versus rules. And the more you have a world of choices, the more you choose higher. We want to move from a higher frequency. I've been fasting every other day. Right now I've gotten to 20 days. And the reason is because it's calling me, not I'm mad that I ate something on day one. I'm actually curious of all the things that are trying to happen through me. And I'm curious what a lighter energy is. And that is more exciting to me than uh, just trying to not eat uh, out of an anger of something. That's more exciting to me than even the food. On the fasting days, I'm noticing a lightness. I'm noticing a new frequency. I'm noticing a forgiving of things. I'm noticing a letting go of an old life. I'm noticing a lot of tears. I'm noticing an energy that will crave something but gets connected to a frequency that knows that this passes. This is becoming a lighter and lighter calling and it's actually taking me to a higher and higher frequency me. Right. So one of the things I want to offer you is the methods are great, but the intention is greater. If you're doing something out of a higher intention, it almost doesn't matter what it is. It's better than the thing. So fasting is good, but if you're doing it out of I'm mad at myself, it's not good.
right? Uh, creating a career is good, but if you're doing it out of, I'm so mad at being broke, it's not good because it's not a higher calling. It's you actually staying in the old grade. It's actually you keeping the old frequency that did the thing that you resist. You're actually kind of burying it and staying in the, the linear fix to that. So that's the first part of that offer is that you are here to create a higher frequency. The second thing I feel like mentioning to you is that I'm just really excited because we are adding so much to the Absolutely Everything Pass. It has been $29 a month from the very beginning, and we now have over a 1,000 hours of footage, and we are proud to announce that we are adding Dr. Kim Duramo to the Absolutely Everything Pass. She and I are working on an agreement for her to come into the Absolutely Everything Pass and do a once-a-month event and we're actually adding two more women to come into the Absolutely Everything Pass. And we are now going to be having an option every single day for a live event, along with a thousand hours of back footage. The biggest thing I'm excited to announce about this is if you get the Absolutely Everything Pass now, you are grandfathered in for life at a price of $29 a month. Starting August 1st, we're going to, to sustain all of this, be raising our price to $79 a month. But if you get the Absolutely Everything Pass right now, you're in for life at $29 a month. And I'm so excited also because Wednesday night, I'm doing a call about healing your past. Um or being haunted by it. And I have a big personal story for you. And also, uh, remember July 30th and 31st, we are doing a huge two-day event called Expansion First. These are events we used to charge big for, and now we're doing it for free with the Absolutely Everything Pass. So the Absolutely Everything Pass is becoming something that's worth a ton of money and changing people's lives. And we have a huge community that's growing and we're bringing more big speakers in. And we've had more guest speakers than ever. We have Brian Scott coming. We had Daryl Anka. We had Aaron Abke. And we're going to be bringing these people back and bringing in other huge name speakers. But we're creating the most amazing spiritual growth self and community uh, experience ever that's continually paying for itself over and over while it's raising its own value. But if you get it before August 1st, the price doesn't raise for you. So grab it now and watch huge things happen because it's expanding itself over and over and over again. So I hope all of this helped you make a decision from a calling, not a fixing. Don't do something out of your anger. Instead, forgive what's angry. Allow the anger to come out. Allow the resistance to come out. Learn forgiveness and see what a lighter version of you does. There's a whole new you you've never seen trying to birth. Don't do things from resentment anymore. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgive your entire past. Forgive everything. By forgiving your past, you'll change it. And we'll talk about that this Wednesday.